Day 1. Parked at the visitor center and took the North Loop Trail. The hike was great. Weather has been perfect all day. Saw a couple with a dog on their way out, but other than that, I think I'm the only one out here. Setting up camp at the upper end of the loop. Thinking about following the stream tomorrow. It wasn't on my map, but I guess it's the Lewis or Clark in me. We'll see. Day 2. Some light showers this morning. Had to bust out the rain poncho. Not too wet, but temps have dropped a bit. Went ahead and blazed my own trail following the stream. We'll see where it leads me. Just set up camp and got a good fire going. Thinking it's going to be a lot colder tonight after the rain. Note to self, the chicken Alfredo MRE is horrible. Day 3. Something came through camp early this morning. I thought it sounded like a person, but nobody would be out here where I am. Would they? Maybe it was a bear. Didn't notice anything missing. Strange thing, I felt like I was being watched as I packed up camp. Keeping the fire going tonight. Day 4. It came back last night. I don't know what it is, but it's huge. I could hear it drawing in huge, deep breaths of air right above my tent. I don't think I've ever been that terrified. I started to reach for my flashlight, but it heard me and growled the most horrifying growl you could ever imagine. It sounded like one of those big semi-truck engines and rattled my entire chest. I stayed awake all night waiting for it to go away. I must have dozed off for a second because I never heard it leave but it wasn't there when daylight broke. I'm headed back to the car. Screw this. It's out there right now, screaming. I don't know what to do. I realized it was following me earlier and something came over me. I just took off running like an idiot. Now I'm out here. I, th I think the stream is... Oh God, I can hear it coming. I saw it. I always thought it was just a joke. Sasquatch is real. I, th I, I thought I had lost the thing. And then it was just standing there looking at me. I don't even know how to describe it. Massive. It was... I, I could see the muscles under the hair. It was a monster. It has light red hair like cinnamon colored. All over. I could see its face though. The skin looked almost gray and wrinkled. It has huge eyes and the mouth bulged out like it had in a mouthpiece like the boxers use when they fight. It didn't move a muscle, just stood there, staring. I've got to build a fire, it's getting dark. I know it's out there, watching me. I hope I find the stream tomorrow so I can get out of here. I was wrong. It's not watching me. It's hunting me. I can't even believe this. It seems like a nightmare. I just want to wake up. I'm so cold and tired. It won't let me build a fire. I tried collecting some wood and it showed up out of nowhere and just ran at me. It kept me up against a tree all night. Just before dawn it finally backed off and let me leave. It knows I'm tired and hungry. It's just staying on me like a wolf, waiting for the deer to collapse from exhaustion. Please don't let me die. Not like this. It's day seven, I think. It doesn't matter. It's over. I twisted my ankle pretty bad. The Sasquatch is squatting down about 30 yards away, just looking at me. I can smell its stench. It smells like death. It knows. It doesn't even care that I can see it. You aren't even supposed to be real. I can't walk. Even if I could build a fire, it wouldn't let me. My throat is sore from yelling. I don't know what else to do. I'm almost out of water. Why doesn't it just kill me already? Get it over with. Please, if you find this, my name is Raymond James. 
My vehicle has my driver's license in it and is parked at the visitor center at the trailhead of the North Loop. Please make sure my family gets this. Mom, I love you. Thank you for being the best mother a kid could have ever asked for. If I had half the courage you have, maybe I could have made it back home. Please don't be sad. I'll be with Dad soon. Annie, you are the love of my life. I'm sorry I went on this stupid trip. I just wanted to clear my head before... Well, in the top of the closet you'll find a little black box. What's inside belongs to you. I'm so sorry I won't have the chance to ask you to marry me, but please know my heart always belonged to you. If there was any way, if this thing would just leave me... Leave me alone, left me alone. Why is it doing this? I can hear it breathing. I think it's just behind this tree. But I don't want to look. Oh God, please no. I don't want to die. I'm not...